is our humble uh, opportunity to present to you members of the media and the nation at large our new leadership team in the next half of this parliamentary term. Our Deputy Chief Whip, uh, who doubles as Minister for Presidency and Security, the Honorable Zake Francis, Butevi, Mutiana Municipality, Mutiana District. Chief Opposition Whip, Okao, is the Honorable Nambeshe John Baptist, Manjia in Wududa District. Commissioner of Parliament will be the Right Honorable Mathias Mpuga, Nyendo Mukungwe, Masaka City, and the Leader of the Opposition, the Honorable Joel B. Senyonyi, Nakawa West, Kampala City. It's my singular honor this afternoon to address the nation in gratitude to my party, to my colleagues in parliament, with whom we have journeyed for uh, two and a half years. It's my singular honor, having served my party in parliament, and I'm eternally grateful. I want to thank you, the media, for journeying with us and my team. We came at the backdrop of building a younger party and shape it into a formidable national organization. A fit we are in trance to achieve. I want to thank everyone who has supported me and my team throughout the last two years. Our journey is not a journey of positions. It's a journey of making Uganda better. I want to invite all that believe in a new and better Uganda to back the new team leader in parliament. Back him up and do not undermine him. Advise him, do not backstab him. Work with him, do not downplay his energy, sacrifice and effort. To my new team leader, you have my back. And to my party, the struggle continues. I'll be available to back the new team leader and we see a better Uganda. I thank you most sincerely for going in my country. I want to appreciate my party leadership for entrusting me with this responsibility. It's a huge, huge responsibility. But I believe God is going to help me to execute this responsibility. I want to salute the Right Honorable Martha Simpuga, our outgoing leader of the opposition. He has led in very difficult circumstances. The expectations were high from across. Sometimes he was expected to do work that government should be doing. And uh, he bore that burden, but he remained strong. At some point, I thought he would give way when there was a lot of fire from left, right, and center. But uh, he kept leading us amidst difficult circumstances. And uh, to you, sir, I want to say, I'll keep looking up to you in many ways to guide me on how to operate. And I'm glad you have offered to give me assistance and guidance. I will look forward to that because um, we keep learning. The Right Honorable Mathias Simpuga Nsamba has been in politics for quite a bit of time. This is his third term in parliament. It's my first term in parliament. So I have every reason to keep consulting him and the other colleagues on uh, how we ought to do the work that we ought to do. But I'm so glad that uh, he has extended and offered to, to keep giving guidance and the rest of the team. And of course, I count on my party leadership and the party membership to be able to do this work. And the team in parliament that uh, I will be offering leadership. I'm not the most experienced. I'm not the most educated of that team. I don't know, I might not even be the most deserving according to some people, but uh, such is leadership. I look forward to working with all the teams, not just the National Unity Platform from where I come, but the other parties 
in the opposition to work together because uh, we are more similar than we are different. I want to call on the people of Uganda. The task of change in our country is for all of us. That task should not be relegated to just parliament. That task should not just be relegated to our president and the party leadership. That task is for each and every one of us. You don't even have to have a position anywhere. But as long as you are Ugandan and you want better, that task is for all of us. So in Parliament, we'll do the best that uh, we possibly can, and we shall. I want to give you my commitment, uh, because the law is clear. Rule 14.1 of our Rules of Procedure provides that the cardinal role of the leader of the opposition is to keep government in check. Together with the team I'll be working with, we pledge to do that role, as God enables us. But we call on everybody out there, let's all play our part. As we ignite the fire in Parliament, let each of us play our part wherever it is that we are. Those that doubted in the formidability of NUP, those that doubted in our leadership, here we are. Um, we had intended to have the communication, the full communication of the outgoing leader of opposition, the Right Honorable Matthias Mpuga, on uh, his appreciation party. But we were constrained to speak to you because we know that if we don't set record straight, it is very easy for each one of you out there, especially our detractors, to come up with their own thoughts and narratives. To you, Right Honorable Mpuga, thank you for the leadership in tough times. Thank you for the comradeship and brotherhood and the mentorship that you've given to various leaders, including myself. Thank you for the insistence and bravery to face insurmount seemingly insurmountable odds. Thank you for being a punching bag for so many people, those who matter and those who don't matter, but constantly pursuing what we promised the country. Thank you. We know you are not an angel. We don't hope for an angel in you. We know not everything went perfect your way. But for your resilience, thank you. And most importantly, for your magnanimity in leadership, for rising beyond emotion and beyond anything. That, I cannot thank you enough. I want to call upon anybody out there to represent us. Whenever you meet the Right Honorable Matthias Mpuga, please, on my behalf and on behalf of the National Unity Platform, say to him, thank you. When you meet his wife, say thank you to her, because being a wife to such a man that leads in trouble sometimes is not easy. At school, when you meet his children, say thank you to them. We shall forever be appreciative. You all know, ladies and gentlemen, that by ranking, our outgoing leader of opposition has performed way better than those who came before him. It is our culture to give way at our prime, to give way at a time when we are the best examples, so that those that come after us can aspire to achieve the kind of leadership that we are giving. So today, this is not a firing like some detractors would love to call it. It's not a demotion like some detractors would love to call it. It is a moral change. It is our belief that because we have the resourcefulness and the blessing of senior leaders, of experienced leaders and knowledgeable leaders, we want to use that to again also empower and groom younger leaders. So in our leadership, you'll find senior leaders and young leaders. I came in as a young leader myself, but because of the trust and comradeship, but most importantly, the mentorship of those that I'm even leading, that's why I am able to stand and will continue to stand. So with that, we appreciate you, Honorable Mpuga, and we shall reiterate that at every opportunity. To you, the incoming leader of opposition, uh, Honorable Joey Senyonyi, like we usually say in the ghetto, Olinye Tokota. You 
are justified to worry. I wouldn't blame you if you get worried because you're replacing, you're fitting into very big shoes. But I want to tell you, my brother, that you have an even bigger reason to be confident because you are surrounded with resource. You are surrounded with love and support. And we are confident that you will deliver even beyond your own imagination, God helping you. To you, the people of Uganda, we thank you for the support, for the many second chances you have given us, and for the trust and the patience we continue to call for the same.